You know he'll beat you. You can checkmate in under ten boobs. <laughs> probably beat us both blindfolded. <laughs> yeah, probably would. Although, I think even he might need to see the board. Anyway, I thought he was going to the park with Harry and Lily later. Yeah, I just thought we could spend some quality time together, you know, play chess, uh, watch a movie or something like that. All right, well, if you told David, he's expecting him. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, it's a shame to have him cooped up in the flat all day. It's lovely out there. Uh, I mean, the park's going to be rammed. We'd never get on a swing or anything like that. Fresh air will do him good. And anyway, he loves spending time with his cousins. Yeah, uh, I promised Natasha I'd look after him. Well, David's hardly going to have him running over a rubbish tip, is he? He'll have a great time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what would be nice? If we got some time on our own. We haven't had that in ages. Yeah. It would be. Um, look, I still think I might just join them at the park, if that's OK. Have you seen the first aid kit? Uh, yeah, it's in the cupboard. Are you all right, Sam? I fell off the swing. Oh. I miscalculated the escape velocity. I can't see it. I knew we shouldn't have gone to the park. It's only a grazed knee. It's the plaster will do. Right. Found it. Don't worry, Sam. We'll clean you up. You'll be bright in no time. I should have written down the formula. I could have time to my jump. You shouldn't be jumping in the first place. Maybe we can take him to Dr. Gunn. Let's get him checked out, yeah? He's fine. It's sorted now. You don't need to go ringing the surgery. It's no big deal. Yeah, but he says it still hurts. Nick, he fell off a swing, he grazed his knee. Yeah, I know, I was there, remember? Yeah, and you were probably there stressing him out, panicking. Look, he doesn't need molly coddling. Well, I was doing fine before you interfered, you know. I know how to put a plaster on. <laughs> Have you heard yourself? Look, stop freaking out every time there's a blip. Yeah, but he's my kid. I'm sorry. Right, I'm gonna go out and get some tea. I suggest you go in there and just spend some time with him. That's all he needs. Hey, Sam, the aunt's going to get some tea. You, uh, you don't fancy teaching me about the solar system again, do you? Sam? Sam? Sam! Sam! Where is he? Where would he go? Sam! You OK? No, not really. I, I've lost my boy, Sam. He's ten, he's about that. Have you seen him? No, mate, I haven't, but there's still quite a few school kids knocking about. OK, thanks. <sighs> Sam, it's your dad. Will you, will you ring me, please? Hey, everything all right? He's gone. Uh, Sam's gone. Gone where? He's just disappeared. I, I think I need to ring the police. Well, let's just look for him first. OK, uh, well, look, well, I'll do Coronation Street and why don't you do the tram stop? Right, good idea. Don't worry. It's a bit late for that now. He won't have gone far. Sam! He's not going to be getting flowers, is he? Yeah, but he's missing. Don't you think you're overreacting? Why does everyone keep saying that because to me? Because it's true. He's probably Sam. gone to the shop or the cabin or something. Is there a reason why he'd bunk off? Okay, look, you heard me and Leanne talking. She said I was muddy coddling him. I said I'm just trying to look after him. He is my son. Okay, now Natasha's gonna ring, she's gonna wanna know where he is, and she won't let me see him again. It's Leanne. Hey, have you found him? Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine, he's fine. You see that he is? Oh, good, good, that's great. I went to listen to my flight tracker. Did you hear us talking? I don't want you to be uncomfortable here. I'm not, I'm just... What? Worried. You seem stressed. Do I? No, no, I'm not. Sorry to mention him, but I think it's to do with Oliver. Sorry. No, you, you don't ever have to apologise for mentioning Oliver. I don't understand. I think what Sam's saying is... ...losing Oliver and everything that's happened, it might be affecting the way you're treating him. I'm just trying to get it right. Maybe start trying. And just be. Do you want anything else? No. 
There's something on your mind. Steve was Oliver's father, but you were his dad, weren't you? You were here with him? Yeah, he was. Feeding him, tidying up after him, reading him stories. Yeah, he was here, helping bring him up. So you've already been a dad? A really good one. I bet. Oh. Punctual as ever. Excuse me. Hi, Mum. Yeah. No, no. no. Yeah. OK. You? Yeah. And truthfully? Dan doesn't know anything about space. Today's reminded me how affected I am by Oliver. He'll be with us forever. Yeah, the good. Do you think he's going to tell his mum? <sighs> what about us rowing or uh, going missing on the balcony? <laughs> <laughs> she might not let me see him again. I should have told him not to say anything. Well, just as well you didn't, eh?